Dog, what, why are you so close, bro? Back up a little bit. God damn. No, because the, the fucking green screen we have is like two feet by three feet. This is, this uh, is what yeah. you're where, where are you doing? You, in the back of the you're store? In the front of the store. You, you're sitting there looking like fucking Osama bin Laden in the fucking caves and shit. I'm, I gotta fucking do it my way, all right? I'm all right, all right, bro. Nice wired headphones, by the way. First of all, first of all, these are professional studio Bullshit, grade. Bullshit, those are AirPods out of an iPhone 4. Where the fuck is my thing? You're fucking Sure, the baby. Sure, what does that say? You can't even read it, it's backwards. Those These are in-ear monitors. Those, those These are, are, those are $2 per, off for Amazon. Professional those, are podcasters. those are Team U AirPods. They're $200. All right. Those are Soldier Pods. Soldier Boy, holler at us. Let, let me get some Soldier Pods. We'll use them on the next podcast for sure. I want the Soldier Boy video game. Um... Yeah, it's like one of the ones that has all like the bootleg games preloaded on it, you know? Oh, almost like the shit that you used to get like back in the day. Like you, you remember the, the little shit you got from like Target? Yeah, well, you know, yeah, exactly. But they have like the bootleg ones that have like everything and then like games that shouldn't exist on there, you know, like, like, you know, like Street Fighter with Mario in it and shit. Well, do you want to you want to do the the intro? You, you did it really well last time. I thought we were going to put, I wanted to put a lot of what we just talked about in there. So can you edit it so it comes in after the intro or we're going to do the intro retroactively? We can just start, dude, it's our podcast. We're doing anything that we want. Um, okay. Okay. Well, I don't, what episode is this? I don't know. You know what the name of the podcast is. Nate can say it if he wants to. Phil. <laughs> it's, it's episode eight. It's episode eight. Of the Nasty Work Podcast, the best pod, the best podcast that's ever been made. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, you got the dog. Oh, all right. He'll be he'll be cool now. Aurora's mad because he she says that he loves me more than him, her. More than they them. Do you, do you think that's true? Actually, I think. Here's the thing, and I talked about this the other day, as I always say before I go on a tangent. Phil, dogs in general, they respect the alpha male. They fear the alpha male. They respect the sigma male. You know, the lone wolf who can go out on his own and still command a pack when he comes back, that is who they really respect. And there's no sigma more top of the pyramid than I. And Phil sees that and respects it. That's what I think. I mean, I, I I was I concur with that. I feel like Phil does. Uh, he you're you're really you you come in, dude. You know what I'm saying? You're you're sweaty from the store. Your testosterone is booming. Yeah, fucking. And he's just my, like, this is this is the guy. My testosterone's booming from demasculating people all day by fucking taking them to the paint <laughs> on clothes. Oh my god, dude. By the way, by the way, someone dropped these like little moss sea moss teas. Yeah, I, those look so gross. Those look gross. I'm sorry. Dude, they're so good. What's the, Read the ingredients off. It's uh, right. high fructose? All, high fructose? No, no, first of all, reverse osmosis water. Bullshit. One. That's bullshit Organic water. That's bullshit water. Juice. Sea moss. Eth erythritol. That sounds Erythritol? Weird. That's bad for dogs. Don't give it to your dog. Is it? Yeah. But I was going to say, I, was, I just ate like a little bit of food and took like some vitamins and... I drank some of this, and, dude, I started to have the sweat. I felt like I was going to throw up for, like, five minutes. I was just, like, in here, like, uh. Was your dick throbbing too hard? What, what did it cause? <laughs> My dick That's like, hard. It's the same, it's the same feeling as drinking a C4. My, shit, my heart started pounding and shit. I was like, bro, I was like reading the ingredients. Like, am I, what did I just drink? These I remember dead. our friend Marcus, shout out Marcus, said that that sea moss is bodega superfood. And I've never looked at it the same way since. <laughs> he was like, it's That's not so real superfood. But yeah, are they good? Thank you for the fucking free plug for this shit that I don't even get any of. They're good. They're good. It's good. just don't drink them with vitamins or while you're eating anything. What'd you eat? I had a little breakfast burrito, just like some avocado, some cheese, and some egg. From whence? From where? From where? I made it here at home. You have the wrapping skills to make that happen? Cool. No, you you always try and shit on my culinary <laughs> prowess, and I'm one of the best cooks that you fucking know without the a doubt. The thing about Nate's cooking, everybody, is and Nate's cooking is good, but literally he'll make like a big pot of food, and if one more singular fleck of salt fell into it it would be too salty it is like at the very max level of like is this acceptably salty so what does that mean that means that it has a perfect amount no, of salt it means that it. it's like skirting the edge of perfection <laughs> it's a little it's like at the high end of perfection perfection's a spectrum dude all right all right 
whatever. And also, when you met me, I was rolling sushi. I was rolling fucking green games. Yeah. Well, I wanted to say, this time we, we actually, we have some submitted questions. Do you? Some, do we really? Submitted topics. Yeah, well, well, two. Two. <laughs> one. One. Someone, someone hit me up. Uh, the homie who, like, follows us. Hunter Harrington or something, I think. He wants to know our thoughts oh, on the age limit for skinny jeans. There is no age limit. There might be an age There's limit no age on limit? the on the low end. There's not an age limit on the high end. Not in the not in today's modern society. No. I really think that anybody fucking wearing skinny jeans past the age of 25 is that's like gulag worthy. Like you should be put in jail. I have a question for you, Nate. When's the last time you were in Europe? Continental Europe. Continental Europe. And this this is the next part I was gonna say. Real, true whites, not a white like you, like a pure European, European white. I'm not a true white person. No, 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 no. Because America has like diluted it's you you have like because i'm not like ethnically white i'm part of the white i'm part of the white diaspora exactly you have you have like you, you're like you have like phenotypic expressions from being in the united states that are changing do me. i all right what such <laughs> as such as the fact that i've never seen you in a pair of fucking diesel jeans okay i've never seen you in diesel well <laughs> seen... it's because i'm not italian i have no italian blood in me Exactly. So a true, true, true white from Italy, Central Europe. I don't think Ital Italians are true whites. Whatever. They can wear skinny jeans literally. They can be buried in skinny jeans. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Like that is that is uh, a part of their cultural fabric here in the States. No. So you're telling me that the white diaspora, such as America, South Africa, Australia, can't wear skinny jeans, but pure ethnic whites can wear skinny jeans is that uh, your yes. point I, I would say i would say i would say south africans are more for some reason they feel more european than they are european I, whites they are i think i don't know if you talked to this in the podcast or not they are far and away the most evil white people oh consistently yes. yeah evil, for sure evil white people south africans afrikaners whatever you want to call them evilest white people i think like russians probably like second hmm. i think after that yeah. i think after that you're kind of getting into the weeds and it's kind of you know it doesn't matter it's all it's like it's mm. it's all it's all not good you know if we're going off the evil scale so all right all right so if there's no right, age limit say, for white people for european people to wear skinny jeans or like or like 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 true like continental asian people either they wear skinny jeans hmm yeah yeah. But I would also venture to guess that most skinny jeans are produced in Asia, so it could just be a supply situation. I'm 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 firm. I'm firm on 25. That's I mean, that's when I stopped wearing skinny jeans, you know what I'm saying? Word. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's when I that's when I let it go. I started wearing regular chinos and shit like that. So It's I I kind of find it funny that your uh, age that you stopped wearing skinny jeans also coincided with the fall off of LMFAO. I know, bro, because they were such a huge influence on me. Yeah. Speaking of, <laughs> speaking of LMFAO, I want to talk about... I actually saw a TikTok about this, which proves that it's in the zeitgeist. I want to talk about, like, it's like the Lumieres and, like, the white dudes wearing suspenders and shit in the mid-2010s. Oh, but continue. God, There's no age limit on skinny jeans. That's fucking crazy. I think as you get older, everyone who's too old for skinny jeans has already died off. So everyone who's still alive is in like their skinny jeans era. <laughs> like I think there's a bottom <laughs> limit that's gonna age back out of skinny jeans. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> that's what I think. That's my take on it. The age limit's at the bottom. Right, the the age limit is 25 at the bottom. Although with the caveat that sweat, the swag era is coming back too. So people are gonna be wearing like the cool kids like really, really skinny, like red jeans. That's also gonna happen soon, watch. It's, ha it's happening now. That's, that is true, that is true, that is true. I have, I have, I've seen kids that are kind of already dressing like that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, I do know. I'm gonna tell you, yeah, that, that's more of a baby pose though. Let's go. All right. So next next question next question is someone someone in the comments somewhere was was asking how you feel about being a Gen Z sex symbol. Me? How do you feel about that? 
Well, yeah. <laughs> wait, does that, I'm not a Gen Zer though. Does that mean I'm a sex symbol to Gen Zers? You're you're a sex symbol to Gen Z. Was the implication? I, I I first of all, I would say that I'm flattered. Secondly, I would say that there are probably very few women who agree with that sentiment. <laughs> <laughs> from from my experience walking around the streets, you know, like I don't I don't feel like much of a sex symbol when I'm at Erewhon or Bristol Farms or wherever else. Um, but. I mean, I guess I feel good about it. Do I look skinnier than the last time we recorded, Nate? What do you think? You look, you look better oh, every shut time the I fuck see you up and bud. tell me the fucking truth. <laughs> it looks so I good, I look exactly man. the same. Every time okay, I fucking see you. <laughs> you look good. What do you mean? You always look good. You look great. Uh, I was looking at a video of us, like, last time that we did a fucking podcast. And I was like, damn, we're so so lucky to be so good I, I was. I watched, like, an old product video from, like, four months after the store opened when we were like, out drinking almost every night and i was like i look like i was about to keel the fuck over <laughs> i look tired oh, borderline yeah i was like to death yeah, yeah so you gotta eat more vitamins <laughs> what's cool like, shit I was going was to it the, the vitamin video probably i was like, i gotta go to clandestino i was going to clandestino way too much like when it, once you get to know the bartenders at clandestino you do you really need to rein it either need to rein it in or like give up your life's ambitions i mean i was actually there last night I also I went to Bar Valentina and I had like I had like three pepper teenies. They were fucking good as shit, but I was so drunk, dude. I got they're small. They're like this big. No, no, no. You're thinking of a teeny teeny. I'm. I said a pepper teeny. Oh, uh, the, had, the like, bigger a pepper ones. Up in it and shit. Yeah, I've had that shit, bro. Uh-huh. I had 15 of them. It was fine. No, you did not. Why? I are could. You lying? I could. No, I could you though. Did not. I could though. I could. It wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> no, you could. All right, all right, everybody. Luke has this illusion, this this ideations of grandeur that are completely out out outside of the scope of reality. You cannot drink fourteen drinks easily. No, it, maybe not anymore. You're... Maybe not anymore. But but when I was drinking, especially if I was doing blow, I could have easily had fifteen drinks in a night. Yeah, I don't. I don't think so. I don't think. I don't think it. The proof's happened. in the pudding. I had like twelve Negronis one night, and it was fine. I felt fine. Did you? I think I was getting fatty liver disease, so I stopped drinking so much. Just <laughs> like, yeah, like, did you actually? I mean, did at the time, I felt. Feel I think at the time, I felt like serviceable. Yeah, those were honestly some of like the best product. Videos, I'm not gonna lie, we're both like, just like so, so hungover. hungover. We're so much better at just this like, shit. We're like still drunk from the night before. I wonder how many people like were coming into the store to sell me shit, and I was just like reeking of like alcohol still from the night before. <laughs> It's like Jesus. I remember bro, it was you, the, just the bar behind. Like you? the first month we were open, we fucking I went to catch steak or catch like the night before New Year's, and George, shout out George, Divine Sins, Vinny Four G's homie, just like put me at a table with like all the chicks who work at Chrome Hearts and gave us like six bottles of forty two, and I was like, like I was like still like violently drunk when we closed the store at four the following day. I like couldn't get up. I was just like, look around. I'll ring you up if you have questions. Like, it really, it really, really fucking do be like that. Yeah. But what did you want to say about the, the, the motherfuckers? Yeah. So what's up with that shit? You know, like they were playing that a lot at Sullivan. Speaking of drinking too much and doing cocaine in Richmond, you know, like like that that Avicii song where he's like making my way downtown. You know what I'm talking about? No. Um, no, I'll, I don't play, know what I'll you're talking about. I'm gonna play it. I know where to start. So wake me up when it's all. Over. It was like a there's like a there's like this weird like techno kind of like bluegrass situation going on in the early 2010s and it was very very kind of cool <laughs> looking back honestly I, I'm kind of into it I I hate rockabilly music I hate I hate bluegrass music that's you saying you don't like bluegrass music feels racist to me that feels racist because I don't like no, it it feels classist that that you're giving fucking big city big city fat cat. A guy, a grassroots guy like me, a fucking uh, a down home southern boy like myself, from the from Appalachia, an Appalachian man like myself, I I, I, t- I take offense to that. Okay, dude, fine, sure, <laughs> sure. I've never heard you listen to this shit before. Because I, I didn't want you, you to cast like judgment upon me. I don't listen to fucking forty two Doug. Hold the <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah, phone. You do. Hold the everybody, fucking yeah, phone. Everybody, Luke listens to forty two Doug when he's out. Not in true. The shower that is shit. not true. That is not true. <laughs> you can fill the bath and just put on forty two Doug a little dirt. <laughs> 
I do listen to Lil Durk and King Von and shit sometimes when I'm like at the gym. Lil Durk is okay. He's, a, he's I don't like his eyes. He's I don't not, like the way not, his eyes. I don't bad. like the way his eyes look. It looks scary. Like this? Yeah. He looks like yeah. I don't like that. But to get back to your original okay. point, I don't like. I don't understand why it's <laughs> becoming a thing. What? Wait, but wait. It, what's the becoming tremors, a thing? The tremors of that are oh, coming, coming back. back. I like it because everyone looks yeah. like they're like in line for a soup kitchen. You know. Like from the thirties. <laughs> That's what I like about it. It's like a fedora that like lost its structure because you like lost your salesperson job in twenty nine and it's third it's like nineteen thirty three, so you've had the same fedora on for four years, you know? And like yeah, suspenders and stuff. Like white little white tee. It's good. See, it's it's so crazy that hipster culture is coming back it's coming back i I'm I'm gonna embrace it, I think. I might I, I was I'm wearing a flannel today. I had a flannel on earlier. I I, it's fine. It's fine with me. American Apparel, fucking suspenders, mustache tattoo. I, on the I, I was thinking about getting one. Don't do Why? that. <laughs> Don't do that, dude. Why? You should get. You should get. You should get something else on there. You know. Is it a con oh my, Jesus. I want to wear like some raw denim with like an obey tee, you know, and be like. I don't think that Gen Z is ready. For a hipster revolution they are. to come they back. Are. I'm gonna I'm gonna mix Swagapino with fucking, you know, like tall bike IPA. That's that's my plan. Ooh. The Swagapino tall shit's the, is the oh. coolest shit ever, you know? Like that that is like the by far the coolest <laughs> thing California's ever produced. This you like, on you on a tall bike, listen to forty two Doug. Forty two Doug. I don't listen to that. I listen to Rio. That's the Detroit rapper. Baby face rapper. Uh, it, it's so funny because like every single time I say I tell someone that they listen to Forty Two Doug, every person takes offense. <laughs> <laughs> I've never even listened to him. I have no idea what his music sounds uh, he's like. He's not like terrible. It's just like he, it's like listening to music from a child. Why? Because he's very, like a little guy. Yeah, he's he's. I've, I've met him in person. He's a very little guy. He wears like a size five. I think. Oh. Uh, oh. Jeez. Yeah. Hmm. It's rough. Yeah, that's rough. That's rough. It is. Also, I just want to say, I'm, I'm after we get off of this, I'm gonna set up an email so people have a like an actual way to just submit actual questions. Yeah, we'll answer. And we'll be we'll answer them all. Questions. We'll answer any questions that you guys have. We'll like so we literally maybe anything also you guys set up. We'll talk shit about a phone call to call. We'll start with emails, and if we oh, get good, yeah. Uh... yeah. I also just feel like people, <laughs> like people would call in, and it would just be so insane. I feel. I love I love all the people, all of our fans, I guess, that like watch all of our shit. But I also feel like they're some of the most unhinged people. What, like all ninety four people? Nah, nah. What are you talking about? We have like thousands of followers across like a bunch of platforms and really? shit. People be fucking with our shit, dude. I was walking down the street. I was walking down the street with this girl the other day, and Which like girl? someone came up to me and they were like, "Huh." Which girl? I'm not I'm not talking about that. Anyways, I'm walking down the fucking street and someone is like, yo, yo, I fuck with y'all's videos so hard. You and Luke are so funny. Like da 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 and I was like I was like, Oh Damn, yeah, thanks, bro. Sick. And the girl was like the girl was, was like, That's so cool. Does does you is that like a fan of yours? Did she suck you up? <laughs> she ate you up crazy? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's always nah, a, that's always nah, a, that's nah. always a nice feeling. Yeah, I would never do that at, at such a lovely institution. I would never hit on would never hit on the 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 staff, and I would never starting when starting never today any of the starting today. <laughs> what do you mean? I never have. I've just been nice to them, but I've never hit on them I, because I actually like going there, and I also feel like they think that I'm kind of slutty already. So it's like I feel like that would just be a really bad look for me. Period. I think you know. You've definitely taken some uh, <laughs> some women of ill repute there before. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. You've definitely taken some women who you yeah, shouldn't have I been guess. in public with there, for sure. But, you know, time heals all. Mm. Yeah, it does. They'll be fine. Winner, They'll winners be fine. write history. That's that's true. That's that's so true. Oh, uh, yeah. dude, I got so drunk last but night. Who I are you feel with? Like I was with Oh, he's gonna be pissed. You better cut that out. He's gonna be fucking pissed at me.
It's fine. It's fine. None of our friends, Listen none to of this? our actual right. close friends watch right, or listen God, to any of our shit. God. We can talk as much shit. No one fucking watches all right, it. All right, perfect. Like, yeah, we could talk all the shit that we want. Right, fuck. They, will, they won't, like, realize it until, like, years right. from now when they, like, go back and they're like, they're like, yeah, nah, like. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. All right, let's leave that in. <laughs> um, okay. His, someone some, someone on the periphery of the friend group is going to send that to him is going to be the problem. It's going to be taken out of context. I mean, they're just going to sound sound bite it up. You that's know? like that. <laughs> when I did the GQ thing, you saw like the little quote they had for me. And I sounded like such a dickhead. It was so funny. Wait, what, what quote? What, what they were it? like, how do you, he was like, how'd you get such a big following? You know, it's just like a little like paragraph blurb, three sentence blurb for each person. And they're like, we asked him how he got such a big following. And the quote he used was like, because I'm a fucking genius. What do you mean? But when he asked me, I was like, <laughs> the answer I would love to get is I'm a fucking genius. But the real, the truth is that, you know, the community around me has been so amazing. Rah, rah, rah. And he just took the first part and put it in the fucking article. <laughs> That's so fucking sick. I know. I was like, this is hard. <laughs> that's <laughs> it's like shout out Sam. But yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's so fucking sweet. Yeah, I was like, all right, fuck it. Like, it's hard. <laughs> uh, I wanted to circle back on something that I mentioned in like episode two. Oh, fuck the fucking Boeing bro. about the Boeing fucking shit. Here we go, dude. Did you read the article or see anything? About, <laughs> I don't give about a fuck about news? astronauts, bro. They're but they're stuck up there. Is it two dudes? It's a guy and a girl. I think. You think she's eating them up? Oh, <laughs> now I'm invested. <laughs> do you think astronauts be fucking? I don't think they do. I think you'd be getting in trouble. There's like cameras all over. Eh, then again, uh, then it's again, like those I weight. Guess you it's like it's like it's like getting sucked up in the Waymo. It's not gonna happen. What do you mean in the Waymo? Like the driverless cars? The, yeah, because they you, you, they have them. They have a pilot program in LA who can use them as Ubers. Oh, I would be getting. I would be going crazy back there. Oh, in I LA, you know those are. That's you need a shot after you get out of one of those. <laughs> they gotta bring the fucking the, the steam back in after I'm done in there. Uh 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 uh. But yeah, they're fucking stuck up there, and they might be stuck up there until like March or something crazy. Yeah, whatever. I mean, they'll be fine. They're probably just bored. They're on, yeah. they're on the clock though. It's like you're chilling. You're on vacation. I mean, granted, granted, if if you go to Ibiza, you don't lose bone density. But besides that. It's like they're gonna get back down and be like fucking like slender mans and shit like that. Just eat some fucking some special K and you'll be fine. Like this shit's got calcium and shit. I'm sure that I'm sure the government's gonna take care of them. They're gonna be fine. They're gonna be like a fucking congressional medal of whatever and like, you know, like get a desk job. They'll be chilling. For being dumbasses. That's not their like, fault. Yeah, sure. the, the, the astronauts didn't fuck shit up. It was Boeing. I know, but so like, why are you gonna punish you know. the astronauts for like doing their fucking job? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Well, they're well. Well, they they may not be fucking dumb, but they're unlucky, which is worse. Okay. Um. Yeah. Rule number nine. I was talking to someone and I told them they were talking about one of their friends or I think something. We, we think we are. And we both we we talked about. I think about we this. said the same thing. And I was like, like, yeah, I was like, they're unlucky. Like, fuck them. Like, you need them out of your life. She was like, just all unlucky. People. I was like, all unlucky people. God doesn't love you. Why should I? Like. It's crazy to keep unlucky people around. At a certain point, you got to take accountability for your karmic place inside of the universe. You know what I'm saying? If you're unlucky, yeah, it's like, it's like crazy. And that's some real unlucky shit being trapped in space. I mean, they're American astronauts, right? Are they on the space station? Yeah. ISS? I think yeah, they're. Are, are. are they? Are, yeah. like, are they, That's where they are. Because aren't there other people up there with them? Can't they just catch a ride? Dude, it's not like a fucking. <laughs> It's not like a car. Well, like, yeah, but, but like people come and go from the space station like every other day. It's not like every other day. All right, every other week, whatever, like before March. It's like, yeah, bro, let me catch a ride on your space shuttle. That's what the fuck they're for. Well, yeah, but they have to bring, they bring a certain amount of people up and they bring, they have to bring shit back. Just, and yo, it's like, there's like schedules. That's what laps shit. are for. Sit on my lap. The fuck? You never got in a car? You never fit seven people in a regular Uber and slid the driver a 10 spot? Yeah, I've done that. Yeah, it's, the I've done that. it's the same shit. The problem is it's these fucking Oops. scientist nerds who don't have the fucking wherewithal, who have never been outside fucking partying, who don't think like this. That's the problem. If I was up there, I'd be home already. Or I'd be like in North Korea, <laughs> like a, <laughs> you know, in a gulag, because that dude would give me a ride, but... I would be home already is fucking crazy, but sure. I mean, like, I, I hope, I, I, 
Listen, I'll, I'll believe it at this, Nate. I hope that those astronauts are good, but I'm built different. Okay. All right. Valid, 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 valid. That's valid. what I got for you. Uh, what else did you want to talk about? I, 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 you know, one of the bigger problems, I think, with the podcast is I never write anything down or, like, have things for you, which I apologize for publicly. I feel like I feel like there was one other thing that we I really wanted to touch on. Hold on, right, hold on. I definitely, I'm up. sure it's, like, it's in, it's in our fucking, it's in our chat. What? Wake me up, dog? <laughs> it's Avicii. That shit goes crazy. Wait. I'm about to play in the store today. That's just me and you sending fucking videos of, like, baby We Gronk should talk about the Rizzler, honestly. Dog, the we Rizzler. should talk about the Rizzler. And, and like... The Rizzler, the Rizzler is the king. Fuck, fuck everybody. Nah, I, about, I like Big Justice, Riz, bro. It's about the Rizzler. Although, here's the thing. is, you like So, there's this sneaker store that be sending Big Justice and the Rizzler sneakers, and they be sending them fucking bullshit on sale trash they need to send them some bangers <laughs> they sent rizzler trash they sent big justice some off-white fives that's fucking crazy what, what do you want what the fuck do you want them to wear belgians <laughs> no i want them to wear like ricks and shit they're like trap that would be they're like honestly they're like travis gas. scott ones you know like they need to be like bro let's let's send let's send the rizzler something <laughs> go uh, you can send him a hat or something i'm not giving shit to those motherfuckers <laughs> Like here's a here's a Jesus hat, bro. Yeah. He's probably like Jewish, or you know, he's probably like not a Christian. If he was a true Christian, his parents wouldn't let him be on the internet like this. That's fucking for real. Are you sure about that? Uh, they they seem to be. I mean, they don't give a fuck about his health. Bro. He's morbidly obese, and he's nine years old. Oh, what about that? What about that dude? Oh God, what? Dude? <laughs> I'm just like going through our chat. I can't, I can't like do this at the same time. I should have just like written it down. <laughs> what about that guy that like hit you up and was like? talking about like what we said about america and shit. oh my fucking yeah people are so tight that i said america is the greatest country in the world and i just want to be on the record to state that if you fucking think that it sucks here you have no fucking motion i'm sorry it's so sweet here i love the rest of the world like i'm not like a fucking like nationalist or anything like i love the rest of the world it's just like i fuck with it here and this is where i want to live like that's i don't think there's a problem with that you know People are, like, really tight about that. It's like, sorry that, like, this is what I want out of my life, and I think this is, like, the vibe, you know? It's also, it's also like, one of those things where just go go back to whatever country, the, the skinny jean part don't, of the don't, world. Don't, I'm not going to tell people to go back to their fucking country. That's fucking crazy. If you... I know. I said go, not go back to their country, but oh, go, go to the skinny yeah, go, jean go to Go to fucking Greece and see if you can get a job as a 20-something-year-old. See how that's going. They have, like, a 90% yeah. unemployment rate for people who are, like... Who look like our age, you know, early twenties. True that. True that. Did I tell you? I told you about the the guy that helped me move the like the couch that I got. I think yeah, the weird Mongolian guy. Y yeah, the Mongolian guy. Did he tell you he was from Mongolia? Saying, he said that he was from the border of Siberia and Mongolia. Did he look freaky as shit? He looked yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean not freak. I freaky isn't the adjective that I would use to describe him, but he looked well, like, like freaky ethnicities like, up uh, there. A different type of Asian. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Yeah, that I've never I've never seen before. But it was so funny because he looked very clearly Asian, but he had the thickest Russian accent That's I've sick. ever heard in my life. It was honestly so gas. And I told you he was like showing me videos of like his like kid playing with like a bunch of guns and he was like, Bro, 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 I hunt I, I hunt wolves in in Siberia. He was showing me pictures of like all these wolves that he killed and That's stuff. That's fucking sick. I all this to say that we're, we were smoking a cigarette, and he was like, he was like, bro, how old are you? How old are you? And I was like, I'm 33. And he was like, really? Really? I thought you were 25. And I was like, no, I'm, I'm 33. That's that's very flat. Five he stars was like, he was like, tip. Five stars and tip. Yeah, I was like, I, I, I gave him a fucking 20, dude. I was like, bro, you're my guy. And he was like, he was like yeah, dog, like, you're really cool. You're a really nice guy. So how old is he? Yeah. 33. <laughs> Uh, he was art. He's art. He's, he's like in his thirties. He looked like shit, didn't he? No, no. Okay. He looked. He looked pretty good. I uh, I miss yeah. the I miss those TikToks where like the like Mongolian people are cooking like camel humps and shit, you know, and like and like oh, cow, yeah. and cow humps and shit. All all like of my shit now is all first of all yap dollar is going up crazy. We got to figure that out this week. I did I did look into it decently. We can take this off <laughs> off the podcast, but it's like it's like we have to do like five different things. Yeah. and I think it's one it's one guy that is like making all of this content. 
Oh well, we got to tap in. All right, all right, yeah, we can talk about it when we're done with the podcast. But I mean, we could we can just stop here. It's been we're, it's thirty five minutes. If you want to, that's fine. Okay. You know, uh, nasty work podcast. Uh, uh, follow at OG Luke Mook. Uh, follow sure. Luke's yeah, NYC. Uh, follow Tokyo Drift 420. Uh, 261 Broom Street. Uh, 8012 Melrose. Melrose Ave. 